All right, guys, today I wanted to make a video for you guys how to upgrade your contr Xbox controller firmwares from PC, change button configurations. Uh, it's just, it's pretty awesome. Just to make sure your controllers work good. And if you're a PC user, sometimes you don't get, you don't, most people didn't know about this option. I didn't know about this option, so I wanted to show you guys so you guys can upgrade your controllers too and make sure they're running sweetly. Hey. If you guys like these videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss any of these videos. All right, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna see is, uh, you're gonna go to Google or wherever you search for and type in Xbox Accessories app. Don't worry about the ratings, it works great. It's just some you know, people are expecting more, but you know, this is awesome. What do you expect? I'm upgrading my controller. I'm not using it to play game, the, the app to play games. So uh, we go to the Xbox store and you'll go to download this. And then once you get it, you'll install it and you'll get the little app right here, Xbox Access little joystick, click it. And boom, we are in. We got the Xbox controller right here. So the cool thing is you can add multiple controllers if you have multiple at the same time. Uh, I have you have to directly connect it. It will show the ones that are um, wirelessly connected or if you have the Xbox exclusive dongle, which you can have eight controllers to it. I've done six already. I know it works. There's a way to press it. If you guys want me to do a video on that, I can show you all of them connected. But yeah, with for one little uh, USB dongle, which is better than Bluetoothing to your your. Uh, uh, PC anyways, so if you're a, a really hardcore gamer and you're using Bluetooth to your computer or something You're doing it wrong get the Xbox USB dongle trust me. It's a world of difference Okay, first of all What you're gonna want to do I mean let oh, sorry Let me go back to the other thing is Unless you're on the go somewhere you don't want it to get broken off or something then yes, I understand Bluetooth it but hey if you're at home and you're playing this thing or on the couch with your little media center PC, don't be Bluetooth in it. Make it with the wireless USB, the wireless adapter from Xbox itself. All right, let's get into it. So the cool thing is we can configure the controller. Or so when we're on, actually, let me show you this too. If you want to go and figure out which controller you're on right now, you can be like, oh, vibrate this controller. Vibrating the controller, it's working. So uh, the other cool thing is, um, this is if you want to have, if you turn any more controllers, but you can make it where two people can basically like share controller, like what this person does the guns on this side. If you just want to change your game style up, make it more fun for friends. Um, now we're gonna go to firmware update. It will say, before we start, we are about to update your controller. Keep it near and don't move it during the update and keep any attached devices connected to your controller. Make sure that the USB cable is firmly plugged in. I have an older controller here, so you might be thinking, well, hey, I have a brand new controller. I don't need to do this. Nope. Brand new from the newest Xbox, just right out of the box, a firmware update available. Friend got a whole bunch of them. We updated them all. But yeah, this is an old, not old school, but this is the Xbox One controller. But uh, yeah, you can tell no Bluetooth because of the shiny stuff on the sides here. But we go continue. It's gonna, it, there's no firmware, so it's gonna tell me that already. It's just going through as if there was. In a minute here, it's gonna say, yep, no updates, okay. So now, uh, the cool, now we'll go to configuration. This is gonna be cool. So go to configure. You can have a default profile. I have Miles here. So the cool thing with Miles is we can edit it. So let's say your uh, invert, you like inverted joysticks. We can do that, boom. Now these are gonna be inverted on the controller itself. So you don't have to do this in games anymore. It's automatically set to inverted. It's so awesome, so cool. Cool beans, it's awesome possum. Uh, you can do the joystick swap, got it, yes. So if you wanna do, it's for you know the Elite controller, but it'll still work, but uh, invert joysticks, invert Y. I mean, you can do just so much cool stuff. Swap triggers, if you want this trigger, do that on the left. Vibration on, off. Uh, a button, B buttons, uh, map, right stick, D-pad, so you can do other stuff too. These are the, uh, you can map to different buttons if you wanted to map to, let's see, A to B. So now the A and B is switched. So this now is A and this now is B. It's pretty dang cool, let's just say that. Let's restore defaults, boom. Everything the way it should be, 
Let's see, I actually accept the A button. Because uh, I was stuck to the A button, that's right. Because the B button, yep, is B. Perfect, awesome possum. But you can just go here and change what buttons you want what. It's pretty dang cool if you have a special game and you can save the profile. So if we go back, you can have like, oh, this is the button configuration like for this game or this game or what game, ever game you play a lot. It's pretty dang cool. Uh, and then you can rename it, delete it, and then copy it if you have multiple controllers. Uh, next here, uh, we did the configuration with this one again. Uh, oh, Xbox One controller, yeah. So, yeah, that's all it is. Press the buttons to test. Oh, yeah, test mode. Forgot about this, yes. Test mode. So, press the plus to enter test mode. So, plus these. So, actually, I'll do it again. Okay, press, oh. Press the buttons. Oh, okay, yeah, you can check the buttons out. It'll tell you how if they're working good and all that stuff. X, Y. It's all testing all the buttons, so you can test your controller too. Make sure your, your settings took effect, first of all, but also you can make sure that the controller, all the buttons are working properly. Boom, boom, boom. Get the mouse out of the way. Up, down, left, right. Everything's just working great. Joystick. I'll move my hands all around them, yeah. So it's just pretty cool if you think like a button's not being pressed or it's not working, you can kind of see it. Make sure all the buttons are working nice and fast. But yeah, uh, I just thought this is a cool tool. Wanted to show you guys so you guys can have the best gaming experience, update your controller so they're on the latest firmware. You might have a controller that's glitching or having problems. This could fix it, fix it. I'm not saying it won't, it's, it could, but it's nice to know that you just have the newest firmware so that your controller is communicating with the software as best as it can. So yeah, so hope you guys like this video. I hope to see you in the next one. And what I always say is I hope you and your family are having a rock and rolling day. Peace out, rock on, and I'll catch you in the next video.